Now in your workshop this week, you're going to be creating your own food. But first off, we're going to be looking at the nutritional aspects of the food that you create. So what you're to do is over the 24 hour period before your workshop, you're to keep track of all the different food and drink that you consume. And in the food calculator, you can then find those food items and it will identify the calories, the fat and the carbohydrates associated with those foods and it will then tally them up and you will get a total of the amount of, of um, calories, carbohydrates and fats that you consumed over that 24 hour period. And we'll use that in your discussions in your workshop as we then explore the types of foods that you're going to create. So that's your first challenge. Before the workshop, keep track of the food that you take in and then calculate out um, the nutritional value of that food. And then in your workshop, you're going to be designing a new food item. Now it's going to be based on ice cream. Ice cream is not always considered particularly healthy, but there are ways of making it more healthy. So you're going to be coming up with a new flavor of ice cream. That is your design challenge. And you're going to be learning about the processes of making ice cream. And you're going to be doing it in a particular physical process of um, using ice and, and salt and shaking your cream or milk until it produces ice cream. Now, online students, you will need to have the ingredients to do this. So you need to collect those before your workshop. Predominantly um, cream, um, caster sugar, two bags, one that will fit inside the other, and salt and ice cubes. Um, the other thing I really advise is some sort of gloves. Of course, the bags do get very cold. Now, to start with, you will then put the two bags in one, in the large bag, you will put the ice and the salt. The reason we add the salt is that it makes the, uh, the ice colder. <clears throat> the process of um, involved will make the ice colder and help with the production of the ice cream. Then you put the, in the smaller bag, you will add the cream, the caster sugar, and I think that's it. Yes, the cream and the caster sugar. Um, you can decide to add some flavorings and other materials in beforehand, or you can add them afterwards. Generally, I advise on after adding them after. Um, it tends to make it easier and a bit, a bit less messy. So, with your caster sugar and your cream in the small bag, you then make sure it's very tightly sealed. That's why these need to be ziplocked or sandwich bags. And you put that inside the larger bag, which also contains the ice and the salt. You then seal that bag up as well. So the small bag is now fully sealed inside the large bag. And you then start shaking them. And you shake them and shake them and you shake them. And it takes around five to 10 minutes. Now, for quite a lot of time, nothing will seem to be happening. But then they'll reach a point where it will start to solidify. And then we'll continue and solidifying until it's very solid. But you have to keep shaking it. Now, the bags will get very cold. So having some sort of gloves and sharing it around in, with your teammates in the on-campus groups can assist. But work through that, create your ice cream, and then you can add your ingredients. Now, you can use little blenders and so forth to mix the fruits and so forth together if you wish, but generally you add your ingredients to your ice cream and make a new flavored ice cream by just rolling the ingredients into the ice cream. Make sure you've taken your bag well outside of the salt encrusted bag and normally wash it before you open the ice cream bag just to get rid of that salt. Of course, salt and ice cream doesn't tend to make a great flavoring. But then you can start combining various ingredients together to make your new creative ice cream flavor. 
and that's your challenge and you'll take photographs of that and that's your design challenge for this week.